Network Fundamentals, Part 3, OSI Model, Part 2. <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to fly an airplane. Well, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for takeoff. There are a few things that will come across when learning about the OSI model. <clears throat> like each layer communicates only with the layer above it as well as the layer below it. And later you'll find that each layer communicates only with the same layer and it will be followed by a diagram like this one. And another two words will start popping up, which are encapsulation, decapsulation. What is all of that? And that is what we're going to answer next along with other things. Starting with how a given layer communicates only with the one above it and the one below it. If you remember, we said that communication starts in the application layer, right? And get passed to the layer below it, which is presentation layer, and then to session, etc. When the message reaches the physical layer of the destination, it gets passed to the layer above it, which is data link, and from data link to network, etc. That is the process that is described when they say layers communicate only with the layer below it and above it. Pretty much straightforward, right? So that's check. Let's talk a little about what happens in that process. This envelope represents the data. When it gets passed from one layer to the layer below it, there are some stuff that happens to it as it goes down the stack. The receiver layer adds some information at the beginning of whatever it receives from the one above it. That's called a header and sends the whole thing to the next layer where the same things happens. And that is what encapsulation is. And it happens as it goes down through all the layers. Some layers add information at the end as well. That's called a footer. But let's not focus on that right now. Here's the thing. Think of these headers that's being added as different languages that only the same layer can understand. So when the message gets encapsulated and travels through whatever physical medium, it reaches the physical layer of the destination. Since these layers speak the same language, there is an embedded message within the header that's being added, which only the layer that speaks that language can understand. So what happens is, the receiver layer reads that message and removes it before it gets passed to the layer above it, and the other layers does the same, all the way to the top. And that is what decapsulation is. The thing to keep in mind is that these headers only understood by the same layer that adds it on the other side. And that is what this diagram means. Okay, an overview of what we did. We've seen what these two diagrams trying to tell us, and we've seen what encapsulation is. We've seen the headers and footers and decapsulation, which is encapsulation backwards. I hope that you guys found this informative and gracias for watching.